Take a look at this array of mug shots. All of these are camp counselors who've been found guilty of sexual misconduct at camps around the country. And with summer camp back on, how can you be sure that your kids are safe? At Camp La Junta, the slogan is, life is good, camp is better. The elite boys camp in Texas has been in existence for over 90 years. But what this youngster says happened to him inside cabin six at Camp La Junta will break your heart. I've never told anybody. In video provided to Inside Edition by the 11 year old's parents, the youngster tells a forensic psychologist that he was touched inappropriately by a 20 year old camp counselor. After you took a shower, you put on your towel and he didn't want you to wear underwear under it. Uh -huh. And he checked you. While he was doing that, where was your underwear? It was in my trunk. He has touched me inappropriately. Crime Stoppers of Houston CEO Rania Mancarios says it's a disturbing scandal that some compare to the Boy Scout scandal. We've found over a thousand victims of sexual assault, just sexual assault, at camps across the country spanning over the last 10 to 15 years. We're talking about little children who were sexually assaulted, who were raped or otherwise assaulted at camps across this country because they did nothing else then pack their little cabin bins and show up to camp where they expected to give their all and have fun. An Inside Edition investigation discovered all these counselors who were found guilty of sexual misconduct offenses at camps across the country. I sent a letter to my parents. The camper wrote this letter to his parents, hinting at issues that are difficult for youngsters to talk about. It is not fun anymore. You won't believe this. I had to take a shower six times as punishments that were not fair. I want to go home. P.S. Please do something. You had a predator at the camp that was grooming children and the kids were not being protected against that predator. It's disgusting. Mason Hunt was 16 and a counselor in training at Camp La Junta when he says he saw counselor Matthew Bovey acting inappropriately with other campers in 2009. I saw him kissing their foreheads. He says he reported Bovey to the senior staff, but he says he was ignored. From my understanding, uh, they did not take it seriously whatsoever. In this police interrogation video, the accused counselor insists he was innocent. But I swear I never ever touched a kid inappropriately. I put so much time into these kids. Okay, so Bovey accepted so a plea deal and got probation, but he later violated the terms of his release by communicating with youngsters and ended up serving nine years in prison. We are not anti-camp and we don't want you to pull your kids out of camp, but what we want you to do is join us in the conversation. Be frontline activists for the safety of your children. Ask questions. Without admitting any wrongdoing, Camp La Junta settled a lawsuit filed by the boys' family. In a statement, the camp says the incident was heartbreaking and has motivated them to implement new methods for preventing abuse.